going to make some more of these. These are flexible bodied sand deals. Just to use as layers for pollock or safe or probably macro in the summer. Um, so, to clear them away. And what I'm using is this stuff which is polymer clay. It's activated by heat. So you can shape it, mould it, and cook it. So first you have to soften it up a bit. To make it workable. And all I'm going to do is roll it out into the shape of the eel. This is probably the first thing a craft teacher taught us at school. Make snakes. And I'm going to use this and mount it on this. This is a piece of spinner wire to make it making spinning layers stainless steel. Slice halfway down. And then just open this up a bit. So I can get this down. Just push this down. While you've got that baking away in the oven, you can make what's going to be the spine of the lid. And what I'm using is a treble, which is a looks like probably a number one, and this is a braided line, twenty pounds. I'm just going to tie a tucked blood knot, blood knot, like a clinch knot, as it's called, as well. I'm going to leave 
probably about two, maybe three foot of lag, and then just trim that. Then I'm just going to thread a tiny bead on one end. And that'll do me until we get the heel back out the oven. So we're uh, back from the oven. As you can see, it's still a bit, of, bit soft, but it'll harden up as it cools. I'm just going to decide which is the head end, so I'll just trim that there. Just tie that up. It helps if you have got big fat sausage fingers like me. So there you go. And we just need to tighten that up now. So I'm going to get another bead. Tiny bead. Thread it on. Vienna. I went in 
see if fishing shops are any different in different locations. Um, they're not. They all smell. I got hamsters also. There we go, finally. Put that on with a bit of super glue, roll it over. Somewhere around the other side. Thank you. 